some presence and some pace in the game, in particular in the opening frame, James. But to get up a one nothing lead on your opponent just minutes into the game, that is a fantastic start. Unable to reach that one. Picked up along the boards by Cole. And he stands tall and cold. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Barkov. Tampa Bay's got the puck against the boards. Picked up along the wall by Kucherov. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Up the neutral zone now. Driving right to the front. The Bolts gain possession in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Shot! Oh, the goalie catches a break there. Quick feed to Stamkos. And that goes off. Hegel's gonna play it from the back of the cage. He was totally locked in on that play. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Tampa Bay's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And now it's over to Hagel. Tampa Bay's got the puck in the corner. Grabbed along the board by Hagel. Here's a block. Oh, the ref didn't like that whack. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Well, everyone has a job in the world to do, and guess what? It's about PK execution right now. They have the one goal lead, now they're protecting it. Once again, send out their 
power play unit. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. The Panthers win the draw. Moves the puck. Too much traffic in the lane. Florida's going to hold him up along the wall. Denies the shooter on that play. And he moves it up to Glenn Denning. Feeds it over to Rodriguez. 43 seconds left on the clock. The Panthers scores! And they convert on the power play. Well, they drew the penalty because they were competing and they were urgent on the puck, James. And then the same approach came on the power play where they knew how to hound it and retrieve it. And guess what? They're rewarded for their efforts. I just love this power play, James. It's not just about skill, but you have to have the work ethic to be able to retrieve the puck as well. You've got to be harder on it than your opponent, and they get the PK running around. Absolute mayhem, and then eventually it goes in. Here in the late going to the frame, it's all tied up. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. And now he angles it across to Barkov. Here's a shot. for period number one, second period action coming up in moments here on EA Sports. Shots on net. They're lucky this game is still tied. Lots of time left in this period. We are all tied up in this one. Florida's won the faceoff at center. Here they come on the attack. Oh, and that's off the blocker. What a stop by Johansson. Here he is from the side. Oh, he saved it. What a stop. Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind them. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Scooped up along the wall by Kucherov. Well, after that bone cut. And at the blink of an eye, look who's jumping in here. Gotta jump in. You can't have your star player in a fight, not just getting injured, but hey, you need him on the ice. So jumping in, a valuable component of any team. And that was just another reminder that these two teams just simply hate each other, Cheryl. Yeah, they don't like one another, James. And it's all about finding out who has the upper hand. And that's the reason why they just went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. <laughs> the Bolts find a way to send a clear message with that fight. They say, we're not going to be pushed around. We're tough, we're physical, and we're not going anywhere. Action set to resume here after what was a wild couple of minutes on the ice there. Lewis to right, it's quick stick, lands on the puck here at center. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Here's a chance on the attack. Picked up along the boards by point. Takes the feed at the point, and that's blocked away. The Panthers have it now. Cherry's been really impressive tonight, in particular on that last play, James. I mean, the wherewithal to keep your eye on the prize, eye on the puck, and just redirect the puck to the net. I mean, that's attack mentality, and he has it tonight. Still lots of time left here in this frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Cousins is slashed. Penalty coming up. And he shut the door on that last play. Here's the official call. Well, he was kind of using his stick as a weapon there, James. He was hacking and whacking, and these are the types of calls that need to be made because they can result in an injury. I won't be surprised to see the 1-3-1 one, one again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but he can also pop out below the goal line and present as an option. So multiple variations that can strike. The Panthers gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Mr. Ryan. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Johansson's been outstanding tonight, James. I mean, he's made 
many of the saves he's had to and really given his team an opportunity to win. You can't ask for more than that. Puck clears the zone. Looking to break out here on the power play. Moves it to Ekman Larson. Great poke check on the reach. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Hedman. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Natural tendency for players is to reach when they've lost position on their opponent. When you reach, often you take out the feet of your opponent. This is an easy tripping call. A little four-on-four four coming up here. Four-on-four four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Tampa Bay's got a chance to go to work on the power play here after their penalty expired. Here's a short pass to Sergeyev. Radish has got the puck. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Reinhardt's feeling that, and someone going to the box. For Hagee's caught up with the hook and the official side. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit, and you know what? They are taxed, they are worn down. If this continues, it's all gonna backfire. Kachuk's getting a chance here on the power play, guys. He knows his zone ability to help them generate a good scoring chance. Let's see if they can strike. Nice job tying up his opponent. The Lightning have possession along the boards. Good use of the body on the play. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. Paul's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Barkov's won the draw and they're on the attack. The goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. They put the puck into the offensive end. Dishes it to Kachuk. It's a three on one. Dishes it off. The Putting the special and special teams, they take the lead. And often when you're on special teams, James, it can go either way in terms of the momentum. If you don't generate anything, it goes the other way. If you generate something, it's all in your favor. I'll tell you what, that was execution. The Panthers, with the strength of that goal, have gone up ahead by one. Two words, timely execution, because they have not had the puck a lot on their stick, and this is extremely frustrating for their opponent, James. But for them, this is an opportunity to turn the tide and swing the momentum. Angles it over to Asimo. And that's picked up in the neutral zone by Edwin Larson. Stops and tired. Grabs the puck here in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Asimo. Is standing up, ready to go. And as both teams are now back at even strength, the power play goes over on the opportunity. Well, the PK certainly hasn't been stellar, and oh, yeah, I remember those meetings in the video. You never wanted to see yourself on the screen, but you have to find a way to stay with it and try and create some momentum and get the puck down the ice. Here inside the offensive end, takes the try to gain a step. Nice lead pass from the goaltender. Tampa Bay's got the puck along the wall. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Sends a pass over. Oh, what a chance here! Let's it go! Oh, it stayed up! Oh my goodness, what a stop! Tampa Bay's on the attack. Florida's got the puck. The Bolts gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Great use of the stick to poke it away. Jostles the puck loose. Taken by Edmund Larson. Knocked away by Perkins. Puck leaves the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it again. Well, there you go. 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends, go grab yourself some water, get hydrated, and then buckle up because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the official...
officials set to drop the puck on period number three. Final frame is underway here. Got two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Tampa Bay's had a strong 40 minutes of play, but it can be frustrating when you've been dominating possession. When you look up at the scoreboard, you're trailing in the third period. You've got to stay in the course, continue to dominate that possession time, to figure out ways to get to the interior. Not just hang out, the influence to the outside. You've got to get inside and make it count. The Panthers send their man advantage unit out once more. Well, the power play has been great tonight, and this is when you want to be on the ice. You're just chomping on the bit to get back out there. There are many days when you don't feel that way, so you've got to really enjoy these ones. Here's a chance, and he denies that great opportunity there. Moves it over to Kachuk. Tries to get the puck to Rodriguez. He's got a step. Great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Takes a shot. Johansson's going to hang on to the puck and get a stoppage in play. Nothing gives confidence to a team more than a big save, and he's been doing it all night, James. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Bolts will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Quick pass to Forsling. Grabbed along the board by Lusterainen. Takes it and looks ahead. Slides it diagonally to Cousins. Uh -huh. Nice block. And a solid effort by the penalty killers as we are back to even strength. In the game of hockey, you can't worry about what happened on your last PK. you got to get out there and you got to find a way to do it. Otherwise, the coach is going to put another unit out there. Passes on over to Chanel. Taken along the wall by Cousins. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Hedman's got it in the defensive end. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Cutting to the slot. Oh, what an effort as he lays out for the block. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Tampa Bay is going to play it from the corner. Puck grab by Radish. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Sergachev. Receives the pass. Quick feed to Sergachev. And now it's grabbed by Stamkos. With possession along the wall. Takes the feed. Through center along the wing. The Bulls get a hold of the puck in their own end. Chernak's hauled down. Penalty on the way. And he slides it quickly to Chanot. Takes the feed from the left side. Puck scooped up by Mott. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Tampa Bay's got the puck against the half wall. From the blue line, they take control of it. Here comes the sentence. Up by one, and you take a penalty, applying some pressure to the PK unit here as a power play as an opportunity to get the equalizer. Points looking to get his team back in this matchup, guys. His can do with it offensively and they'll get it out of the defensive end loose puck battle along the boards points got it along the wing here's a chance to the middle off a stick and they can't complete the play and they clear that puck i was never expected to score james so this never really bothered me i was always on the defensive side of it but listen the goaltenders had to make some huge save everyone's talking about the chances how about the tenders and their positioning and the ability to move within the net? From behind the net. Florida's got the puck shorthanded. Across the line. The Bolts have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Shiri. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Scores! They tied it up here with a timely goal in the third. Wow, well, they're backed up again. Turn the tides and put on the press, if you will, James, and they get the equalizer. Oh, that's a really 
tough break for the tender, James. I mean, listen, when structure breaks down and there's all kinds of stuff going on in front of you, you can't track, you can't get your eyes on the puck and it winds up in the back of your net. The Bulls have jumped right back into this one and not a moment too soon in the third. Oh, we have ourselves a game here, don't we, James? And this is what everyone wants. They love these nail biters right to the finish. Oh, look at the pass! Plays it against the boards. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Picked off by Reinhardt. He carries the puck up along the wing. Slick feed. And he loses control of the puck. Taken by Barkov. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Intercepted at center by Rodriguez. And he keeps possession. Stopped by the goaltender. Picked up along the boards by Hedman. Into the corner now. Rips it and rips it! Too many bodies in the way. The point to the go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck quickly since an upward trajectory as this game's progressed and they find the back of the net. I always find it amazing at the end of the third period. Everyone is so urgent. I mean, why can't you just play like this for 60 minutes, right? But they find a way to convert on it, and this could wind up being the game winner. Florida's running out of time. They need to find a goal here quickly as they trail late in the third. Barkov's won the draw center. <laughs> Bobrovsky's made his way quickly to the bench, and the extra attacker is now out on the ice. And that'll close the book on this one as the final horn sounds. The Bulls were outshot in this one, but you know what they weren't? They were outscored, Cheryl. When they come away with the win, and that's all that matters, James, but when they did put it to the net, they found a way to get it in there, and I'm telling you, it's about disguising your shot, finding ways to get to the middle of the ice. They did a real efficient job of that. Well, that'll do it for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski, and we will see you next time from Ringside.